Hi there! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a long-haired cat. So, I'm going to start by drawing just a loose circle for the face and my little crisscross there in the middle of the circle that's going to help align the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Uh, real quick, just draw two kind of rounded triangles on the side of the head, one on each side. Um, so I'm just going to draw the eyes in real fast. Um, don't really require a whole lot of work. Just keep it nice and loose. You can always go back and balance that later. For the nose, just right below that line, uh, right where the intersection is, you know, you'll see the upside down triangle and then the mouth and the chin. You can already see the kitty cat's face is starting to come in. Um, drawing the highlight, the pupil, and the iris now. One for each eye. And uh, I kind of like this sultry look this kitty cat is making, so I'm going to give her some eyelids and eyebrows. And next I'm going to draw in the tufts of fur on this kitty cat's face. Also right on the top of her forehead. And I'm going to fill in those ears there so you get a sense of dimension for them. Now we can see where the outer ear and the inner ear is. And I'm going to finish drawing out the face and uh, start adding in the neck and just the upper portion of the body. I don't like how thick that made her neck look, so I'll move that in. And there's her um, her chest there. So I'm done with my uh, guidelines, and uh, there's a few excess pencil marks that I had, so I'm getting rid of those so I can focus on um, finessing the final look of this pretty kitty cat. Oh gosh, I really love this cat's eyes. So gorgeous. And I love drawing eyes. I wonder if anyone out there else uh, also enjoys drawing eyes as much as I do. They're, they're so much fun. And uh, for the nose, I want to make it a little bit more realistic. That triangle was looking kind of flat. And also give her a little, little wrinkle there at the corners of her mouth. And some eyebrow whiskers, because all kitty cats have uh, those little eyebrow whiskers. And then for the regular whiskers on her face, uh, just keep my wrist nice and loose. So I do the same thing, you know, one, make it one solid stroke. Um, for these tufts of fur on the side of her face, they looked a little ragged, like she had just come in from the rain. So I wanted to bring those in a bit, round them out, make her look softer instead of like she just came out of a bath. Um, now I'm going to outline everything in the Sharpie because uh, everything looks good and I'm just ready to go. And you'll see that as I'm drawing with the Sharpie, I start with a point and just pull the Sharpie. So point and pull, point and pull. And that keeps all these lines nice and smooth. And uh, do the same thing when you, when you do your outlining work. That Sharpie's getting dry, so I'm getting another one. There we go, that's better. Once you fill in the pupil, you know, you can really feel like you're starting to look into looking into the soul of whoever those eyes belong to. That's the same for cat, person, dog, you know, whatever you're drawing. I always find the pupils help immensely with that. Very cute little kitty cat. Point and pull, point and pull. 
Same for the other side. Point and pull. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and erase all my extra pencil lines. Um, I don't need those outlines anymore because I've got everything traced with my Sharpie marker. And this kitty cat just looks gorgeous. I hope you all are enjoying this because I sure am. Cats are fun to draw. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go back and uh, thicken the outline on her eyelids. Draw some more attention back to her eyes. That looks good. So now I think I'm going to start coloring. Uh, I want to make her eyes a topaz yellow color. So I've got my golden rod marker. And uh, next I'm going to color in the nose. Uh, I like this peach, so I'm going to see how that looks. Uh, okay, I'm going to try coloring in the eyelids next. And you know what? I'm not too happy with how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and color over the nose with a pink, which will look really good with that peach. It really softens it. Um, for the eyelids, uh, I'm going to go and color with this light blue. I know it's going to make it look kind of green, but I think I think it'll work okay. Um, she's a cartoon kitty cat, so it's all good. Cartoon kitty cats can, can have anything. I will go in and color the inside of her ears peach. Um, I've decided that this is going to be a white cat. So um, white cats usually, whenever they have any extra color uh, inside their ears, it's going to be kind of a peachy color. So she's going to be a white cat. I need to do something uh, to make that, uh, that white color pop. So I'm going to outline her completely in Barbie pink. And already I can tell that this was a fantastic choice of color. Already, uh, you can tell this is a lady cat. I mean, that pink really, really pushes the feminine there. Um, and of course, the contrast of the white with the pink uh, really helps. I'm pretty satisfied uh, now with the pink, so I'm going to go in and color uh, all the shadows of my lovely white long-haired cat with a light blue. Um, anytime you want to convey shadow on a white object, you want to use a light blue. 
and that helps make the uh, white look really pure and clean. And that kind of pulls together as well with her eyelids, even though they're kind of green. You know, there's still some blue in there. And a little bit of shadow in her ears, too. I think that'll look good. A little bit of nose. This is really just the last uh, bit, you know. I'm just looking for little places that I want to uh, make her look more dimensional. And a little bit there on the eyes. Oh, yes, that looks really good. And I'm going to go back in. Speaking of her eyes, I'm, I'm going to put a little bit of shadow in there with a the brown. And, uh, oh, that, that looks so good. Yes, I like that. Really softens her eyes up. And then I'm going to put a bit of blue there in her eyeballs, too, because she's going to have to have some shadow in there. Oh, what a lovely kitty cat. She looks gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this kitty cat tutorial. Please share this and subscribe. Um, I will see you all again. Y'all have a great day.